Here we go again, folks. We're talking about the Walmart Corporation and what they are doing. And, you know, they keep doing things where maybe we should be asking more questions about all these different Walmart closings. Think about this, okay? There's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of red flags that are popping up. Why are they really closing a lot of these stores? We're going to dive into that today. We're also going to dive into the reason why we should be questioning what is really taking place. What is the real reason behind all these store closures? And why is it that, you know, there's more that meets the eye here? One really has to sit back and wonder what the Walmart Corporation is really doing with all these closings. And why is it, I don't think it's just Walmart either. I think a lot of the other big retailers are on the same bandwagon because they're in the same boat. And we're going to discuss that today. And then I'm going to give you the reason why I think that Walmart is closing more stores than what they have originally planned and why a lot of the other retailers are following suit at this time. So sit back with me and let's get going on this video. So welcome back and the question still stands, why is Walmart closing all these stores? Why do we keep having these questions and everything else? You know, uh, why is it that nothing seems to be uh, being done about what the real problem is? Now, before we get to the real problem, though, I'd like to thank everybody for being here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And if you would, please hit that like button and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. So why is it that there are all these closings and why is it that Walmart and a lot of different retailers are in the same boat? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what they actually have been doing is back in December, Walmart did put out a report and they stated that in that report, that they planned on closing 15 stores this year. Well, that 15 stores turned into 17 stores. And next thing you know, they added a couple more. Now we're up to 19 stores. Oh, wait. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there should be a couple more. And now we're up to 21. And then they just announced they were closing, what, two more? We're up to 23 now. Huh. Really makes you wonder what is really going on here. Now, as of June 2nd, Walmart just did a huge layoff in two different areas of the country. Just the United States here, folks. On June 2nd, they did lay off 597 workers in Pennsylvania and 201 employees in New Jersey. So, there's more people that are out of jobs. Now, the economy is doing so well as you know everybody would have you believe that you know why are we closing stores and laying off workers hmm makes you wonder we have questions right but will we actually get the answers to our questions that's the important thing that's why i'm here because i'm going to give you what is really going on here we go follow me all right, Walmart did announce, like I did say in the very beginning, they're going to be closing all these different stores. They started with um, 15. We're up to 23 now. There's probably more to come. Now, Walmart puts it off as poor performance stores and also theft. Hmm. Another question. Doesn't every store in this country or every chain in this country have a problem with theft? Shrinkage, it's called, in the retail world. I do believe that they do. And then with the poor performing stores, 
where are these stores located and also why is it a poor performing store did it not meet the over expirated dollar figure that well this is what we wanted and they just couldn't do it because it wasn't like probably humanly possible so it gave them a reason to close the store and move some of the employees around and then the ones that don't well then they're on unemployment i think a lot of this it really has to do with the whole import crisis that is taking place that nobody out there is talking about the wall street journal did release when i was digging into some of my information and stuff back in march the wall street journal did release an article Idle ships, empty containers, ocean shipping faces its biggest slump in years. Well, could that just be the answer to the whole question? And I'll pin that article in the description below. So what is really taking place here is the fact that we are in this whole import crisis. And here's why. In China, a lot of these people have been out of work. A lot of things has been shut down for, oh, for two years over the whole, you know, Charlie Victor 19 thing. Nobody was working. Now that people are slowly trying to get back to work, there's no jobs. A lot of these companies aren't taking all the employees back. They have thousands and thousands and thousands of people with no work. Trucks and containers are sitting over there empty. When they send the ships over here, they're either half full or if they have to, they have to have weight to make sure that things are balanced out properly on some of these ships. So they're half loaded and then the other half of the containers are empty to take up the space to balance the ships out. We have more empty containers in this country than we do full containers. So, would one tend to believe that maybe the whole problem that Walmart and all these other companies that are following suit because they're all using the same problem of closing these stores, poor performance and theft, when really it's lack of product. And how can we shove this all around so certain stores are look full, we close the others, and now, like with Walmart, we have 23 less stores that we have to worry about making the shelves look full. You know, you've seen it, like around the holidays when you walk in and they stuff, the shelves are full of just all kinds of crap. Everywhere you go, it's just crap, 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 crap. You go in there, you just want to pick up one little thing and it's just, you're just bombarded with all this crap. Well, see, here's the problem. If they don't have all that crap to be putting out and everything else that nobody can afford nowadays because well since our you know we're, we're doing so well with our um, inflation and everybody has plenty of money and nobody's being evicted and none of this kind of stuff um, you know I mean they can go into Walmart and blow all kinds of money that's why Walmart this summer right now they just announced that oh well hey guess what we're running so huge sale this coming summer on all these summertime products and electronics yes they're gonna be running electronics on sale <laughs> proves my point folks okay a lot of these products and stuff is stuff that's been shuffled around that has been sitting around because they ain't getting a lot of new stuff in so they're trying to sell this stuff as new and then they realize that they really can't because it's been sitting around so long so now we have to reduce the prices to make sure well we can move it before hopefully somewhere down the line maybe we'll get some new product they're not the only ones all the other big retailers are doing the same exact thing so to prove my theory why would walmart be doing all these big huge sales on summertime products and everything else and electronics they made sure they put that in there and electronics what does electronics got to do with summertime 
summertime you want to buy a beach chair or you know outdoor furniture a barbecue grill um i i don't know you know a pool any of this kind of stuff what do you want electronics for because they got to push it it's all they have it's been sitting around they want it gone period and they're not the only ones this is affecting all the retailers in this country and all of them are falling back underneath what walmart is doing and blaming it on poor performance and theft when the real problem is nobody's making it walmart did put through what they wanted to dump billions of dollars into america we make all the goods here we won't have to import as much we're putting in billions and billions of dollars well you better hurry up before your stores are either all closed or empty and there's no product so i'm survival preparedness for beginners something for you all to ponder out there and question about all these store closings at good old Walmart and all the other retailers because they're all following what Big Brother does. The largest one does it. We can do it too. We don't have to tell people to worry about, well, we don't have anything. So we're just shuffling it around. Let's see how many more stores that Walmart closes this year. We'll see. There's a lot of uh, shelves in the food aisles that I have noticed. Comment below what you're seeing. But my shelves are starting to get back to that old look that we had right after Charlie Victor 19 come to town. One in front, none in the back. Not on everything, but on the popular products in the food aisles. What are you seeing? Comment below. Till next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I really do appreciate it. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. And I'll catch you on the flip side.